the older CXL slash CXR 8 volt 50 white projection bulbs. What the kit contains is the LED display, which is this right here, okay, the pace AC power supply, and the module which regulates the voltage which goes to the LED so that the voltage remains consistent and we have no fluctuations in the intensity of the light. Okay, let me begin and show you what consists in this kit and what you will find in the box and how easy it will be to install this. We're going to start out with the LED which is made from an aluminum block which have fins on it to dissipate the heat that is produced by the LEDs. There's three of them as you can see right in the center there and they are lined up precisely to shoot right through the gate and there is no adjustment that's necessary on your part to turn around and wind up making sure that you've got your correct amount of light that's going out. We also have right here a heat sensor that if by chance in error you should neglect to turn around and shut the LED off this circuit will open and prevent the possibility of burning out the LED only it's there for your protection and it's not an item that you are to count on for shutting the LED on and off. It's only a protection circuit. If you look at the bottom, it's the identical base that came from the CXL bulb and this will be plugged into the same spot where the other one went. That's, your, that's the main component and the wires that come with it. Now the next thing we have here is the AC adapter. What this does is this converts the AC which is coming out of your wall and converts it to 12 volts and that is what this LED needs to operate. Okay. This is also the power cord that plugs into here and then this other end winds up plugging into the wall outlet. Now this device over here contains a module which regulates the electricity coming out of the 12 volt supply okay, going into here to produce clean consistent 12 volts which these new style LEDs require. So that's what is in this box. We have a large pilot light on the top which glows quite quite brightly and a simple on and off switch for you to turn it on and off. Over on the other side we have these wires which we'll show you in a second how they hook up and the jack right there where you're going to wind up plugging in your AC adapter cable to, uh, to use. Okay, And then the last two simple little things is some Velcro because that's all you're going to need to attach this to the back of the projector and some wire nuts. That's the only things that are going to be necessary for you to install this into the projector and have you up and running in a very short period of time. Okay, for demonstration purposes, we're going to be using this Chin-On 2500 GL movie projector. I'm going to remove the front cover and show you the original lamp that's in there. And as you can see, it's the funny looking bulb, which goes in and it's a simple twist to take it in and take it out. Okay, but for right now, we're just going to leave that bulb right in place. The first thing we'd like to do is come along and mount the power box switch which has the LED 
uh, power for on and off, and we also have a bright LED, excuse me, a bright pilot light, which you will see that's coordinated with the LED that will be placed in there along with this bright orange light. And that's to let you know that that bulb is on. Now, your selection as to where you would like to put this is basically up to you. Now, I've elected to turn around and put this box on the side right here. Reason being is as we turn the projector around, we can mount this with Velcro and we have to get these wires into the projector. Okay, so I have a piece of Velcro that I'm going to use. Peel off the strip and put this right here. Okay, now this way while you're sitting here using the projector and this is mounted up high enough, you can turn around and wind up just putting this right onto the projector. You have easy access to your switch and the pilot light is well in view. Now, I've already started to take the screws off of the back of the projector. And just, it's a very easy case of getting this back off. Take that off, slide that forward, lay this down, and the holes that are in here for the purposes of ventilation to keep the bulb cool we can take these wires and insert them right through here and pull through here okay now what you have to be cautious of is that you have not any place where you can entangle the wire around any moving parts so you can just slip this right through here, making sure that you don't have anything where this would turn around. You want to keep it away from cables and stuff. And the fans, obviously not a good thing. So what you do is you turn around and put that through there. And I can see that we're clear. And bingo, we wind up putting the cover back on. Okay. We turn around and wind up putting the screws on. go okay now that we've got this mounted here cables running into the projector I'm going to turn the projector around and being certain that we haven't run into anything that potentially could cause a problem when we turn the projector on okay let me just leave it just like that okay now what we do is we turn around and we remove the original bulb. Okay, take the bulb. Okay, now it's time to insert the new LED. Okay, and it's a simple case of finding the holes where the original one came out of. Pushing down and it twists and it snaps into place. It's that simple. There's nothing else to do. Okay. Now, wire hookup. Very simple. Two wires. A pair of blues. And a pair of whites. Wire not here. And the wire nut here. Now we take the take the leads, and being certain that we don't wind up touching anything, that we can get caught around pulleys or belts or the shutter of the projector, we just take that and put them in, and that is it. That's all there is to it. To install it, just push it right in the corner. Now we take the cover, the cover goes on, and that's it.
screw-on-top. And we're ready to hook it up to the AC. There we go. That's it. Turn it around again. We've got our cables that are running through into the projector. We made sure that they weren't touching anything. Now we take the AC adapter, okay, and there's a simple plug on here that plugs directly into this adapter, okay, and the other part plugs into our key power supply, and then we just plug it into the wall, okay. Okay, our installation is complete, and as you can see, just above, behind the take-up reel, we have that large orange light that is not on yet, but will be in a moment. Okay, now we're ready to test the unit out, and here we're going to turn around and flip on, turn on the LED light into the on position, and as you can see, the pilot light comes on. The bulb inside the projector is on now, okay? So now I'm going to come along. I'm going to throw this into the forward position. that it doesn't burn the film. Notice the brightness that's maintained even though we are in a still position. And there you have it.